All right, welcome back to the Cricket Today podcast. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known as the Stats Guy. I'll start with him first because he always has a sook on the run sheet. Marcus Barzano is here, yeah. pumped after an Aussie win over Oman. Hey, not Marcus? very pumped, to be honest. Not very pumped? It wasn't very convincing, but you know what? Uh, big puppy led yeah, us the way. The big so. Stone got the job done. Uh, Marcus was fired up with the big Stone. Uh, also, Tom Clark is here, better than uh, Leo. Leo's replacement. T-F-R-C-T, Tom from Cricket Today. <laughs> Tom from Cricket Today, I always yeah. stuff that out. Tom from Punters. How you going, Tom? I'm very well, thanks, mate. Very, very good. Well. Uh, T20 World Cup time. It's finally underway. Aussies finally got their campaign underway, actually. A lot of the other teams yeah. were one of the later teams to get us uh, underway, which was very exciting against Oman. So that game has just finished. Did a bit of a live stream. We're going to do some more live streams. India, Pakistan, some more Aussie games. So check us out on TikTok. Uh, where else do we go live? Instagram and yep. things like that, which was awesome. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're about over 600 now, road to 1,000. We want to get that subscriber number up. So chuck a subscribe 100%. on TikTok, on YouTube, get around Spotify and Apple Podcasts and uh, you can listen to us wherever you are, on the train, on the way in, anytime you want. So get around it. All right, T20 World Cup news. So I'm going to start with this. This one was very funny, lads. We talked about it in a show with Alex. Alex absolutely loved that the Aman skipper Called out the Aussie batters technique. That was very interesting. Yeah. Ayub Ilyas uh, said that the Aussie batters don't have any players like Steve Smith, like Marnus Lavashane, before he played us today. So what, what did you guys think about that one? I, I don't mind it, to be honest. <laughs> think, well, why not? Ruffle a few feathers. The, the chances of them winning anyways are slim, but I think it's just the way you went about it. Like you're talking about batting technique and yeah. you, you play for a man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's a decent uh, player, Ilyas, but yeah. yeah. He is, he is. Yeah. Um, and he did well in the in the super over. Just couldn't get over the line, unfortunately, mm. um, in both of their games. But they've they actually played well. We'll get to that game mm -hmm. um, later on. But I don't mind a little bit of trash see, talk before the game. Yeah. So you got a man who are 19th in the world, and he's uh, talking trash about Australia. A second, what did, what did you see about that one, Tom? Yeah, that was I, interesting. I loved it. Yeah. But I also thought, like, come on, mate, turn it <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. a pretty pretty brave call to say that to Pat Cummins, who's got yeah. a better technique than most of the Aman bats. Yeah. Nothing against them. And Pat um, Cummins is our lower order, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, no, nah, it, look, it, it was um, it was pretty funny. Uh, I think it added a bit of extra spice to the game. Yeah, so yeah. I, I'm not, I wasn't against it, but again, it was a pretty brave call. And I actually didn't see, did he get any runs or any wickets? Uh, or? He was none for eight off his runs. four. He was very economic bowling okay. didn't get a wicket no i don't think he got many runs though i think he might not have many got, but like five a few, or something. yeah, yeah, yeah. literally a few so yeah he might have to back it up for the next game and they might end up with zero wins so i don't know anyway it was a bit of fun i it'll be interesting to see if namibia or scotland captain now come out when we play australia when they play in australia do they come out and say something because that game was actually pretty close in the pretty end, close so, yeah. yeah yeah uh next one in the news we got rohit sharma everyone loves a bit of rohit sharma i think he's one of your favorite players tom he is one he, of the best to watch when he's up and going yeah uh he went out Injured, retired, hurt. Actually, what, did, did, just what after he made a half century, made his fifty-two. Yeah, so hoping were they being a bit precautionary there, or what do you guys think? Is he gonna is he gonna be alright? Yeah, look, the game was over pretty yeah. much when he went out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I think he'll be okay. From all the news reports, uh, he, he's okay. It was more precautionary, precautionary as you say. Yeah. But yeah. you know, if if they play against uh, someone who bowls a bit of heat, they're mm. probably going to target him. Yeah. I think and, and well, try Pakistan next. Yeah. Well, Pakistan next. There you go. They got a lot of guys that can bowl. Actually, they're probably one of the quickest bowling cartels. Yeah. Than, uh, in the World Cup, yeah. Other than maybe Australia or South Africa, probably have the quickest bowlers. Yeah. So that'd be really interesting. Yep. And then uh, Stark was the other one. He looked a bit ginger. I think it was mm. just cramp because it was so. really really humid. But still, uh, you haven't even bowled four overs coming off a big IPL campaign. But I'd say 2020 cricket doesn't take it out of you that much. That just surprised mm. me. I'm hoping he's not injured or anything like that. Oh, I think conditions like India, both India and um, Barbados, the West Indies is very human. Very human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so again, it's, um, I assume it's just cramp. Yeah, he got so, on the pickle juice, which tastes disgusting. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and, we, and we have the chance. Nathan Ellis played really well. So yeah. we have the chance to, I know we're playing against England, but we have the chance to rest Stark, mm -hmm. bring in Cummins. Still keep Nathan Alice because he got two for as well. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. So he was great. So hopefully we'll we'll see Nathan Alice mm -hmm. and maybe Stark, maybe just get a bit of a rest. Yep. No, nah, fair enough. All right. We like starting the show with the yeah, nah. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go with this one. Group B, which England and Australia are in, but so are Namibia or, and Scotland. So I'm going to go, can Namibia or Scotland make it out of Group B, lads? Because you've got uh, Scotland, England, which we'll get into, had a draw. So they've at least got one point. Scotland Namib robbed. Scotland were robbed. <laughs> we'll, were get robbed. Into, we'll get into that. Can Namibia or Scotland make it out of Group B, lads? Yeah, nah. I'm going to go nah still. Nah, okay. There's a lot of cricket to be played. Yeah. And you'd fancy England. The only game that they drop is arguably is the Australia game. Yeah. They could very easily win that as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So, if England uh, beat Australia, then they're definitely probably, well, most likely making it out because that makes up for that draw. But mm. 
if the England lose and then they don't smash one of these teams, you never know. Scotland or Namibia could make it out. What do you reckon, Tom? Look, I reckon Scotland are actually going to be a bit of a smoky in this Ooh, group. Out, like of, out of them and Namibia yep. and Oman, I think uh, Scotland are definitely the mm. third ranked team, probably yep. looking at it on paper. Yep. If they can screw to win, maybe against the Aussies or someone like that, I reckon they're potentially a chance. That could be the best thing to happen in sport all year if, if Scotland <laughs> make it over England. Scotland and England are just rivals in every sport, well, so that would be so good. Well, we mentioned this in the in the seeding, yeah. which is really weird. Yeah. England don't make it and oh, yeah, Scotland make it. Yeah. Scotland are the top seed in Group B, even if they finish second. Yeah, the way Australia. they've done this tournament, we talked about this in one of our previews, is an absolute right. joke. But yeah, so that means if yeah, even, even if Australia finish on top, they're not the number one seed no matter what happens, which yep. – doesn't make any sense at getting into the Super 8. It's definitely so. favourable towards the the better nations, yeah. the way that they set that up, yeah. which is a bit... Because, yeah if, yeah, if Scotland make it through, they have to be a higher ranked seed than Australia. Yeah, well, I guess that they will get a easier game mm. on paper yeah. against a second-seeded team. But Still, that, that's pretty know. crazy, yeah. All right, let's get into some, into some game wraps. This was a couple of days ago. Afghanistan taking on Uganda. Afghanistan absolutely demolished them. Afghanistan 183 for five off their 20 overs. Uganda still batted 16 overs. But yeah. only made 58, lads. Uh, <laughs> that's that's a bit sad. I Is that the Cricket Cranes? I always get confused. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the cricket, cricket Cranes. cranes we yeah. don't mind Uganda in our previews, and they've got some exciting players. But Afghanistan, they're coached by DJ Bravo now. They're up and about for the uh, <laughs> T20 World Cup. Uh, what did you guys see in this one? The opening partnership for Afghanistan was yeah. nuts. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. didn't lose a wicket until the 14 and a half overs into the game. That's right, yeah. yeah. And they made 154 of that opening partnership, and they were great. I was in the office mm -hmm. um, and watching that game mm -hmm. on the TV, and – Uganda look like they're not the best bowling team, but Afghanistan, you know, they've made a statement, even though it was against Uganda, mm -hmm. they've still made a statement to against the, the rest of the nations around them to say, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not here to participate. We're mm -hmm. here to actually go deep in this tournament. Yeah, yeah. You didn't mind uh, Afghanistan this one, Tom? Yeah, look, this was over at about the 8th and 9th over mark for me. <laughs> yeah. um, nothing against Uganda, but, you know, they're, they're an associate side that's coming into yeah, the World new, Cup. Yeah, new team, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Afghanistan uh, have been around the mark for a long time. Um and Nabi coming in and just getting a little 14 at the end. It just put it over the top for me. Yeah, the, um, the president. Yeah. The, 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 cap, the captain, Brian Masaba, actually bowled pretty well. Took yep. two for 21 off of his four overs actually, for really Uganda. Yep. He was okay. But look, yeah, th this game was over pretty quickly. Yeah. The the Afghanistan's net run rate is plus 6.25 after one game. That's not bad. Which That'll actually unreal. help him in, the, in that group a lot. Uh, the Faz. Faz Faruqi played in the uh, in the Big Bash. I liked watching him. He's just so quick. Five for nine. He's got the best figures of yep. anyone, I still think, in this T20 World Cup. Yep. So that was awesome. Uh, yeah, he's going to be one to watch in this tournament. 18 dot balls. He Eight, was it 18 dot balls? 18 dot balls. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That is unbelievable. Not that People would be happy with 18 dot balls throughout the whole tournament, let alone in one <laughs> game. So that's awesome. All right. Afghanistan did really well there. They might be, yeah, one to watch. They've got some exciting players, Afghanistan. They, they'll probably be favorites now to progress mm. out of that group. Yeah, because we were a little bit worried their form coming in wasn't great, I think. Yep. Uh, but yeah, especially when you get a big win like that, help you net run, right? Why mm. not? All right, Marcus wanted to talk about this one. This yes. was a robbery. <laughs> it didn't do a rain dance. Well, then it did to do a reverse oh, rain dance. Wrong game, but yes. Yeah. So we want to talk <laughs> yeah. about this one still. We want to talk about this one first. Scotland, none for 90 off their 10 overs. England didn't even get a chance uh, because it washed out. No result. Was Scotland robbed of a... Uh, Scotland were robbed. Well, not ro really They're robbed because the of the rain. Of the They're playing in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> yep. Right? And then they come off. An hour and a half later, it stopped raining. Yeah. Why not just like you can play twenty twenty cricket during the night? Yeah. They just just <laughs> wait, just wait, just play a. I don't know. Well, just play <laughs> like. Yeah, I know. He's lost for words. Just play. <laughs> just play fifteen overs against fifteen overs. And yeah. Then, I don't, know, I don't mind that. Lose but how long do you wait? I think there's a certain amount of time they're supposed to wait. But I yeah. don't care. <laughs> you, I, we just missed probably one of the best. Biggest upsets, possibly. Biggest upsets mm. in 2020 World Cup history. Yeah. And and it happened against two nations that have rivals. Yeah. I think, yeah, Tom would agree on that one. But we just all wanted Scotland to do pretty well there. It's a lower ranked nation than uh, than England. Look, we did. But <laughs> I still, you know, they definitely weren't morals in this no, Scotland. No. Even, even if they got to, let's say, 180 off their 20 overs. Yeah. Like, you look at the England England could still team, make 200, yeah. Salt, yeah. Butler, Jacks, Bairstow, Brook, yeah. Livingston coming in at the end. Even like Chris Jordan can give it a whack. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, not not certainties there. But I, I really did see, yeah. did like seeing, I should say, um, Scotland put it to England. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you know, I'd be a bit nervous if I was England. Um, yeah. Adil Rashid, who's their one of their best bowlers, he won the world. world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, none for twenty six off two overs. Oh, you know, that's bad. Yeah. It, it, it's not great. And Chris yep. Jordan, who's their probably their fifth bowler, mm -hmm. uh, he went for twenty four off two overs. So yeah. look, it, it wasn't the best game to watch, obviously, because it was cut short. But yep. I think uh, there'd be a couple of nervous a players worried, in the yeah. English uh, dressing room. Yeah, definitely. I and think get, yeah. Get, get around this, you lads. Tell me the England coach's name. 
Brendan McCallum? Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then oh, Brandon McMullen. We talked about this in the movie. Yeah, yeah. We, it's an <laughs> Aldi, Aldi Brendan McCallum. Aldi Basball <laughs> yeah, plays, for, uh, plays for Scotland. Yeah. Love so it. you had uh, Munsey 41 and Jones 45 for just really good effort by Scotland, both yeah. over the 130 strike rate. It'd be interesting to see if they can do that for the rest of the tournament and then possibly progress. But sadly, no result. We, uh, mm. So we'll go to the next one. Nepal, Netherlands. The loudest crowd in, I'm going to say the history of cricket, it felt like. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable. The Nepalese absolutely turned up. There was a big yep. watch party of thousands of people in Kathmandu. Yep. I didn't, people don't understand how much they love their cricket. They just love anything when Nepal's on the big stage. So they made 106. The crowd, you would have thought they made 300. The crowd was going nuts mm. off their 19.2 overs. Netherlands got the job, do job done pretty comfortably, 109 for four off their 18.4 overs to win by six wickets. Marcus, you said the Netherlands were going to be really good this uh, this World Cup. And yeah, well, I, I, really said, well. I said yeah. they progressed to the Super 8. Ooh, over Sri Lanka, yeah. Oh, they've got to, off to a good start and it mm -hmm. helps that Sri Lanka were shocking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Tim Pringle, Van Beek. Oh, that's, that's my that's man. His man. Yeah, that's yeah, his man. Tim that Pringle, that, that yeah. Pringle with the glasses yeah. and the mullet, he's got yeah. everything. Not, not one player, uh, not one bowler for the, for the Dutch had an economy higher than six. Really? So wow. they were all very economic yep. and, you know, it's a good start to the tournament for them. Yeah, Tom, the Pringle was fired up. He, he was darting them in. He has some good change ups as an offie. Yeah. He, he's a good bowler to yeah. me, Pringle. He looks like he's from the northern beaches of Sydney. He does. He yeah. does. <laughs> but he, uh, I, I thought he was really good. And um, he took some early wickets up the top, which mm. kind of set them up. Yep. Uh, so he bowled really well. And uh, who else bowled well? Um, Van Beek as well. He's a good bowler. Yeah. Van yeah. Beek was the other one who, yep. um, who really set it set them up for that. And mm -hmm. similarly to some of the other games, uh, it took them a little bit to get there. They chased 109 in just over 18 overs, but they were pretty much controlling. They were just trying to control it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. the scorecard probably doesn't reflect how much of a demolition that was by mm -hmm. the Netherlands, but um, Scotty Edwards, the, uh, Aussie, the Aussie the Aussie Dutchman, yes, the captain, yes. he missed out again uh, only with five. I hope he gets some more runs. He was an because... opener back in the day, wasn't he, as well? So he's mm. dropped down to six or five, sorry, yeah. So he'll, a... he'll be really pivotal, pivotal, I yep. should say, sorry, for them uh, come the end of the tournament. Yeah, he's yeah. a good batter. He's a very good player, very mm -hmm. mature head, and they're going to need him to step up yep. when the time comes, and hopefully that can come sooner. Does he still later. play Premier here? Yeah, uh, ex Richmond. Yeah, I Richmond. That's right. Yeah, I don't but know maybe how much. Anymore, yeah. yeah, I don't know how much he plays now, being yeah. on the international uh, yeah. scene. But yeah. he's an ex Ryder medalist, uh, Premier. That's Bull, right. Yeah. Of the year, yeah, so he was a gun. Yeah, yeah, very, very good player, and obviously he's playing international cricket. So kudos to him. Yeah. but go the Dutch. Go the Dutch. Yeah, yeah. That's Dutch. A, you, you. I love them. I love them. Best kit as well. I think their <laughs> kit is so cool. It's with the rainbow across the front. Look, they're currently second, and I reckon this is exactly this is how the group's going to finish. South Africa top, Netherlands second. Oh, mm. nice. All right, next one. Uh, a lot of people that follow us will want to be talking about India. India made ninety-seven for two off twelve. Oh wait, I put that around the wrong way. <laughs> Ireland. Sorry, I'll say first. There was Ireland versus India. Ireland put up ninety-six. Bit disappointing, but India's bowlers were amazing. Yep. Uh, India got the job done so quickly. Twelve point two. This is that. That sort of dominant performance you want to see from the bigger teams, getting it done really quickly. 97 for two off the 12. Uh, really good. Bumrah was the standout. Yeah, Bumrah was the standout. Yeah, he's unreal. Two for six or three overs. Oh. So, but to, in all fairness, I think the wickets were shared a little bit. Uh, the yep. only, play, only play was uh, Arshdeep Singh, who's, who went for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but even Hardy Pandya took three. Um, he went for three for 27. But I think it was good just see, just to see Rishabh Palm make 36, make some runs. Um, yeah, he was pretty average in the was, uh, IPL. Yeah, he was pretty quiet in the IPL, mm. like uh, bar an innings or two. So yeah, yeah, India off to a strong start as we all uh, expected. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. I agree. They, they didn't have to do much uh, after they knocked over a few early wickets. And again, they just got the job done. They're a professional outfit. Yeah. Um, you know, they're probably up there with favourites with the Aussies and England yeah. as well. So they just had to get the win and they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, I think out of all the big, favorited teams that's the best performance as in yeah. so far just because they got it done so quickly whereas Aussies took a little bit of time didn't bowl him on out uh yeah India bowled yeah. him out for 96. When, when Axar Patel and, and Jadeja only mm -hmm. have to bowl an over each mm -hmm. um that's a good sign yeah um I think yeah they, they got one of the best uh pace bowling stocks yeah I, I think in the in the tournament that's that's why I'm very excited to watch India Pakistan that's why we, we mm -hmm. are the, the bowling mm -hmm. stocks for both teams is going to be awesome to watch the yep. pace uh, on, on attack in attack, so that's gonna be very exciting. India too good. They'll uh, yeah still be into this uh, one of the heavy favorites of the tournament. Mm. Uh, next one before we get into Australia, and mine is PNG Uganda. Yep. Actually, was pretty exciting for a really low scoring game. You got PNG bowled out for seventy seven off nineteen overs. Off nineteen overs, and then Uganda. I need to check how many overs they made, but eighteen off eighteen overs made the made the runs seven mm. down. Actually, got really really exciting at the end there. It did. Um, look, we we sort of missed out on a, on a bit of this game because we're what, doing a live stream for Australia versus mm -hmm. Oman. But yep. 
Uh, we tipped him to Stats Guy. We tipped you again. Yeah, we, get around the cricket cranes. Um, in the cricket cranes, we just sort of talked him up in the preview. Tom's gone <laughs> a bit the other way. But I, I backed PNG. Yeah, that, honestly, it could have gone either way in this game. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, they've done pretty well there. Uh, who was the best batter that you've written down here? Uh, Ali Shah. Ali Shah. Uganda. It was a match winning knock. Mm -hmm. Went very slowly. 33 off 56 balls. But That's all he needed to do, yeah. That's all he needed to do. Mm -hmm. And um, Miyagi, Miyagi, at the end, he yep. came in and got 13. So, yeah, nice. Uh, that, look, that just got him over the line. They had a bit of a shaky start. They lost... Uh, some early wickets again. Mm -hmm. um, they were three for six and four for 25. But oh, uh, Three for six, day, I forgot about that. Yeah, when, yeah. when you're only defending 77, yeah. uh, it's, you know, most teams should, should chase that. Yeah, you can just control it, can't you? And yeah. just, like, be professional. But uh, Frank Nyabuga. Yes. Two for four or four overs. Unreal. <laughs> two for, he, had the, Unreal. he had the code rate of one. Yeah. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. And it's just great to see cricketing, and, and like a non-sort of cricketing nation, in Uganda. Yeah, a new World Cup team. Yeah, yeah. A, a team is new in the World Cup. Get a win. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure the celebrations will go along to the night because there were plenty of Ugandan fans yes. in at their first game. Yep. Um, so get great for them. them. Get around them. Yeah, that's awesome win by Uganda. I think that's going to be their first World Cup win, right? If it's their first World Cup. So, so yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure it's their first World Cup. So get around Uganda and Ugandan fans. Mm. The Ugandan fans and the Nepalese fans have probably been the best so far. So the other countries, you need to lift. Get some step tickets up. over. <laughs> step up because they are carrying the fans at the moment. <laughs> All right, before we get into Australia, Martin, I'm just going to remind everyone, we're going to do some live stuff on YouTube, TikTok coming up, Instagram. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, Australia, Oman, lads. We just watched that this morning. Was a little bit shaky at the start, but Australia mm. got the job done to win by 39 runs. So Australia, uh, I'll start off with, yeah, Australia, 164 for five. We batted first. Oman put up 125 uh, for nine. So not too bad. Yeah. But yeah, it was a little bit shaky at the start of Australia's batting innings. It was. I think uh, David Warner could have gone out around 10 times the way he just like sort of missed <laughs> some and then hit, hit his pad and it was just missing mm -hmm. um, going on going on to hit the stumps. But scary for Glenn Maxwell as well because he sort of, it looks like he's continued his, his form. IPL form into this World Cup, although it did take an absolute blinder of a catch to get him out. Yeah. Um, but Marcus Doinus was the man, like this was the innings that oh. he had to, this is what he could cement himself in for the rest of the team. Yeah, I think, the tournament. I think a few people, including uh, us on the podcast, were originally saying, oh, should he be picked? A lot of people were saying his form for Australia has been a bit inconsistent, but uh, he did the job and just did really well, Tom. He was awesome. Look, for mm. me, um, David Warner, I know he made 56 off 51 balls. He didn't look like getting... Uh, getting any runs really the no, way he was no. batting but he grinded through mm -hmm. uh, it was a bit of a tricky pitch it was spinning a bit and uh, it was a bit slow so mm -hmm. yep. I, I don't think that's actually a bad knock in the scheme no, of things no, yeah, sometimes you just literally can't get out yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah you're yeah. doing all you can to he, try to score some runs and you just can't mm -hmm. go out so yeah. kudos to Dave Warner he hung around and mm -hmm. Um, got his cop to send off as well, actually. The, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, uh, who was it? It was Kali Muller. Yeah, Kali Muller literally kicked the the dirt. Du oh my god, I can't even can't even talk. The dirt in his face. He kicked the dirt in David Warner's face and said, "See you later, mate." After he just gone fifty six. After he's batted seventeen yeah. overs. What and, is going on? And there? was pivotal in Australia, <laughs> making uh, one thirty plus. Yeah, and he's he's got one for thirty going at ten and over. Mm. Uh, Kali Muller. If so. if Warner was out. We were in all sorts of like around four for fifty. Mm, That's yeah. what we would have been at. Yeah. Instead, we were four for one hundred and fifty. Yeah. Um, Amazing hundred. Yeah, hundred run partnership between uh, Stoin and uh, David Warner. Yep. An awesome effort. Stoin is clearly the man of the match. He did a bit of everything, lads. What did mm. he end up with? Sixty-seven not out off thirty-six balls and, and three he, for nineteen. Then three for nineteen. Has he been bowling much lately? I don't think he has because he didn't bowl no, much in the big bowls, bash. He normally bowls like a couple overs in the big bash. Mm. Uh, obviously, he's had a chronic back problem. Um, you compared him to Jakey Stringer in the AFL. Where sort of, a little bit. Like, um, I just think that when he's, the, the well. way, when he's going well, normally the team that plays well, uh, the team that he plays for yep. plays well as well. Mm -hmm. Like, they sort of ride off the back of him. So, uh, And he's got a good rig. So Yeah, yeah he, <laughs> Love he does, he does. <laughs> just rig-based selection. That's what they always say. <laughs> That's how he gets picked every week. Uh, yeah, Tom, do you think he's going to keep bowling like in, throughout this tournament? I think he's got to after the three. Because like, a few people were saying they might rotate the bowling a bit less to just go with the big quicks, but... Got three for look yeah. similar similar to with uh, with England. He's probably the fifth or sixth bowler yeah. in in most teams he play in. But mm -hmm. uh, he's not a known wicket taker as we no. know. But he has been known to chip in here and there, and he is a bit of a, a point of difference. I think on the slower pitches of the Caribbean, he's going to be a bit harder than the hard wickets in Australia. Yeah, because yeah. uh, you know at, at the MCG ball and ball. that kind of thing, it plays on really nicely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he can take the pace off it a bit and kind of hit the wicket a bit more, but. 
Uh, for me, this was a clear difference between Australia, who's you know the number one rated team in the world, yep. pretty much in most formats, and uh, one of the associate teams is it was about run a ball, ten overs or eleven overs in. Yeah, they did all right. Yeah. It, they were doing okay, a month, yeah. but then all it takes is one over, and Stoinis hit four sixes in an over, yeah. and <laughs> that was it, unbelievable. It changed the whole game. We yep. haven't seen uh, an associate side really do that mm -hmm. this uh, World Cup so far. And I think that's just been the big difference is yeah. uh, mm -hmm. having someone take the game away from you or put you at arm's length uh, mm -hmm. in one over. So I was pretty impressed with Stornis' yeah. innings. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think, yeah, you were saying on the live, this is the, the match. It needs to step up and prove that he, he's well deserved in this team. And he really did. It was just mm. the Stornis show from, and, uh, from and just start to finish. And just credit to Aman, uh, first yeah. off, because like they played really well and their fielding was unreal. They yeah, took some yeah. great catches. Uh, they stopped some uh, runs in close. Their, their short fielding was really good. Um, and that's that's brought the pressure uh, upon Mitch Marsh, and that's the way he went out. He just got frustrated and and tried to try to hit it over the top and got out. Yeah, well, that's the other thing. Some of the other teams, uh, the Nepalese fans in the comments on our, one of our lives were saying they weren't happy with the fielding. The fielding can literally change your whole game. You're a bit yeah. more positive. You take some catches. Even the Aussies dropped a couple of catches, which is very yeah. rare for Australian cricket just in general. So if you field well like a man, then you, you get a few I, results. I think yeah. that's probably the slight difference between Australia and India when it comes to the crunch time. The finals fielding, moments is the and, fielding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Pakistan I think the in, great Indian, are yeah, yeah, I think like subcontinent fielding isn't as They don't good concentrate as, on as, as much. Probably the, yeah, the, the Australian yeah. Australian fielding, even the English fielding is pretty good as well. Yep. Well, if you remember back to the ODI World Cup last year, Australia were really struggling in the field the first two or three games. That's right. Yeah, we, yeah. Lost, we dropped a lot. Yeah, yeah we yeah. did. We, yeah. we fielded really badly and then lost there was a, a few bit, games, yeah. We did. We mm. lost a few games early and then yeah, there was yeah. a shift in the fielding and then you take it back to the final where Travis Head took that catch off. Yeah, that's right. Rohit Sharma, we Changes stopped. The game. We stopped a lot in the field, mm -hmm. um, and you know India just couldn't get it back. And then the first ball, Warner nicks off, and it goes straight through our first and second slip. So mm -hmm. you know, I think the fielding yeah, is a big difference. But kudos to Aman; they, they're actually you know quite impressive. I thought, yeah, yeah. they did get beaten, but they showed a fight uh, a lot more than some of the other yeah. uh, lesser ranked teams. They even made more yeah. that match than against Namibia. So they're they're improving they're even throughout the tournament. Fairly unlucky to be 0 and two. Yeah, mm. they, well they the they missed the stumping on the last ball of the match that ended up going to the super and they lost even the super over because David Wilson turned yeah. into Superman. But uh, yeah, they were very unlucky. Yeah, they were, mm. even if they don't win a game in this tournament, I think they can hold their heads high because yeah, they've exactly. had a good start to the yep. tournament. All right, we've gone through Australia and Oman. Let's go through the tipping results. I think Marcus and I haven't got a tip wrong yet, unless you count the uh, England, England Scotland, Scotland draw, but. Don't worry about that. I'm, I'm counting that as a win because no one, you couldn't get a tip on that one. Tom, the only one you've got wrong is the PNG again. Oh, and that game could have gone either way. Yeah. That was, I, a bit, that was a bit unlucky. Look, it wasn't as we've been through. It wasn't yeah. a great game. Um, no. It was tight, but wasn't a great game. Yeah. But yeah, I think you can um, you can flip a coin for those kind of games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Olivia's also in there. She's she's fighting hard. What is she on? I'm trying, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to say. She's trying her best, but she's got, she's got a couple wrong now. Too like fast, new to cricket, uh, only hearing and then got... Got a few tips from Leo, which probably cost her yeah, a few blame tips Leo. as well. So that's, what, that's who we'll blame on that one. All right, quick fire tips before we get into Australia versus England and India versus Pakistan, which is with the games everyone wants to talk about. I'm just going to go through the games, lads, and I want you to give me the winners of uh, other games on, over the weekend. We'll start with the game tonight, United States versus Pakistan. I'll start with Pakistan's number one fan, Marcus. Yeah, then it will have to be Pakistan. Pakistan, yeah, fair enough. Uh, Tom, who you got? I'm actually going to back the US. Oh, yeah. are, you, are you all right? <laughs> look, I think look, look, it's getting hot. It, Olivia. It's getting hot. <laughs> in, look, in these tournaments, uh, there's always a game that goes the other way. Okay. S Scotland, you know, they started pretty well against England. Yep. And yep. obviously rain ruined that one. But I really, I was really impressed with uh, the US. They were amazing. Yeah. In the first game. Mm -hmm. You know, they got a they got Corey Anderson, who's a genuine gun. Has yep. been on the circuit yep. for a long time. He's going to have a game where he goes bonkers. Aaron Jones was smacking them all out of the yep, park. Yep. I, actually, I actually think that they're a pretty good chance I against like Pakistan. Like do, do the US batsmen face pace? I told you this. They've got Pakistan. two bowlers that bowl 140 plus. So yeah. maybe not 150 plus. But Look, yeah. I, I think they, they don't, obviously, because yeah. of the standard they usually play at. But I think someone like Corey Anderson would probably want pace on. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, we've looked at it with Oman. When there was pace on here, all you need to do is just get a bit on it and it'll fly. Mm. So, so square boundaries were very short. I think uh, in the Australia-Oman game was 52 metres. Exactly. Ooh. And, um, yeah, I actually really think the US uh, are going to beat Pakistan. Oh, Tom, second episode. Oh, he's already doing the big calls. <laughs> I, like, I, I love it. it. I, I love it. it. All right, next one, Namibia versus Scotland. This is a huge match in terms yeah. of Group B. I, oh, sorry, I didn't even say mine. I'm saying Pakistan for that first one. Then I'm going to go, I'll go Scotland. I think they showed a bit in the first game, even mm. though I was washed out. Who are you going? This is tough. This is really tough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean, I'll lean towards Scotland. Okay. Just. Namibia's bowlers aren't too bad, but yeah, I think yeah. Scotland's batters can take over. What do you reckon, Tom? Scotland. Scotland me. as well. Yep. Mm. Uh, let's go to Saturday, Friday night for us. Canada, Ireland. 
Another close one, but I think oh, Ireland are a lot more experienced. Well, yeah, they were, they were, again, they played India, who were powerhouse of the tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you can't really rate them off that performance. Yep. So I think they'll bounce back here and, and Canada. Look, they showed some signs. They probably surprised a few yep. against America. But again, Ireland is probably just a tiny step up. Yeah, they've America. played the last few World Cups. You got Ireland yeah. as well, Tom? I think Ireland, but I don't think it'll be a blowout Ooh, at all. Okay. I think it'll be pretty tight. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, Canada they impressed me. Uh, Curtin, who bats up the order for Canada, mm-hmm. uh, born in Barbados, but has uh, Canadian heritage. Mm-hmm. I think he's due to have a big big game. So I'm interested Ooh. to see how he goes. I like that. Actually, there, that's another little funny one. No one from the Canada team was born in Canada. It's the only team in the whole tournament, <laughs> which is crazy. There was yeah. like seven of them from Barbados. Anyway, it's pretty cool that they all get to play for uh, their country. Uh, New Zealand, Afghanistan is the next mm. one. Afghanistan were awesome in the first game. They were. But I think New Zealand get the job done. I think they've got a really deep team still. My man, yeah. Russian Ravindra, I think is going to have a big game. You know what? I'm going to Afghanistan oh. on this one. Yeah. I, I think so. I think the they're probably... The batsmen are in, in great form mm-hmm. for Afghanistan, particularly the opening pair. Look, it was against Uganda, but I think the New Zealand bowling is sort of like the weakness in their team. Mm-hmm. Like if you can even say that, um, it's probably like the, the the lack lack of that they have in that in that department. But I'll go Afghanistan because why not? Because I think um, their spinners as well could probably cause a bit of trouble for the New Zealand batsmen. All right, Afghanistan. Here we go, Tom. I think it's going to be a battle of the spinners, Ooh, uh, in yeah, my yeah. opinion. I think. Uh, you know, Rashid Khan has obviously been around for a long time. Mm-hmm. Nabi can chip in with some offies, Mujib as well. Yep. Uh, but alternatively, you look at uh, New Zealand, they've got Ish Sodi. Sodi's a, yeah, he's a good yeah, Mitch Santa. Oh. And also, um, is it Rav- Ravindra? Yeah, Ravindra? Yeah, yeah, he bowls a little Ravindra. bit. He can, he's, yeah. uh, he, and not every game, but when he bowls, he can get wickets. I, yeah. think, he, I think he could chip in. And, mm-hmm. you know, even Glenn Phillips can. Yeah, he was bowl keeping little, and bowl and spinning some games. Those yeah. little weird. And bowl and Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I think it'd be a battle of the spinners, but. Uh, yeah, look, I'm going to go New Zealand for me. New Zealand, yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, last one. Actually, no, two more before I get into the uh, main games. We'll go Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. I, oh, this is the battle <sighs> of the go, two oh, out of form teams. I've got to go Sri Lanka here. I, I'm to Bangladesh. Oh, they lost the US in the warm I, I don't, don't, know I don't care. Sri Lanka got bowled out for 77. <laughs> they did. So you're going Bangladesh? Yeah, why not? All right, uh, Tom. This is a very hard one. <laughs> I don't flip, want to tip either. Flip a coin, draw, but we'll go. Draw. <laughs> we'll go Bangladesh. Bangladesh, nice. Uh, oh, I've actually missed a couple here. <laughs> Netherlands versus South Africa. South Africa. Surely South Africa. I yeah, think. South yeah. Africa. But the yeah. Pringles still get a few wickets, Tom? Nah, he's no. going to get Pringles. Oh, you're there. <laughs> I know, I like <laughs> them, but, already. <laughs> but nah, look, South Africa. They're another level. They are, look, yeah. they're, they're, they're good. <laughs> Nokia is bowling quick at the moment. Oh. I just think, uh, I think it's going to be game over. But yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, no, nah, we'll fair see. enough. Yeah, Nokia Thunderbolts, just stay away from them. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, last one before we get into the biggest matches. West Indies versus Uganda. Surely West Indies at home. Turn up yep. West Indies crowd. Less than the prices as well. There was a thing oh, about yeah. that, 100%. saying that's why West Indies fans aren't turning up. Less than the prices. Get a big crowd there. It's a home crowd. Yep. Got to go West Indies. Get Uganda. The atmosphere, just the atmosphere would be great if a bunch of West Indians came yeah. in and, and the Uganda fans are there. Yeah. This would be a great vibe mm. um, for cricket in general. Lots so. of drums. It would be awesome. They, yeah. they had drums at the last game. But the, the Windies should win this. Yeah. Comfortably, I think. Yeah, Windies. Yeah, the Uganda yeah. got bought up 50. What about Nicholas Peran? Fastest half century of all time? <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I love uh, watching Nicholas Peran. Yeah. Uganda have had a couple of decent. Decent bowls, so. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how they go. All right, the main games we wanted to talk about are Australia, England, the Ashes rivalry. It's back into into the T20 World Cup. This is going to be interesting because mm. England really need to win this to uh, probably solidify themselves as that top two. Uh, I'll start off, lads. England, Australia versus England. It's going to be Saturday night for us in in Melbourne. Yep. Standout player I want from you guys. Who's going to be the best player in this match? Hmm. This is tough. Tom, you want to go first? Do you <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look, um, I will say, though, we actually haven't played England uh, in a 2020 since 2022. Ooh, that's, so, that's interesting. Yeah. And the last time we were meant to play them was uh, in the 2020 World Cup here at the MCG, and it was rained off. Yes. So, uh, you know, these these teams actually haven't played a lot against each other in the white ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, there's the big rivalry in <laughs> In the ashes, in the and stuff yeah, like that. yep. But mm. look, I'm actually really interested to see how Mark Wood goes. Yep, I think uh, he's going to be quite a handful. And if Joffrey Archer plays as well, um, he's you know, scary. Yeah. We all we all love the quicks. Uh, mm. I'm pretty pretty keen to see them play. If either of them, one of them, can get off the chain mm-hmm. uh, and take a few wickets, I think it's going to be tough for the Aussies. Yep. Yeah. Look, I'm going to go. I know he he played a little bit poor in, in the past five games or so. He actually hasn't been that great, but Travis Head. Yeah, um, he's going to fire up at some point. Yeah. He has. Uh, he's he's due innings in the short format, and um and on the England side of things, I'm really interested to see how Johnny Bairstow goes because it's it's really the first time he was good in the back uh, since the Ashes series. IPL. 
playing against uh, after that controversy. Yeah, will he summer. walk out of his crease again, Johnny Besto? In this oh, he'll, he'll Maddie Maddie sure Maddie will be ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go standout player. Who, who am I going? I've, oh, I was going to change my mind there. I'm going to go David Warner. Why not? He's day, In the past, he's had a pretty good record against England. Obviously made 50. I think he's going to have a decent strike rate. Bit, uh, he loves pace on, as uh, Tom mentioned, a few other batsmen like pace on. And then Mark Wood and uh, Joffre Archer really quick. So I think he's going to hit a few boundaries on them. Uh, I put score prediction here, but let's just go a winner. Australia versus England. Who's going to win, lads? I'm going the, the Aussies. Aussies. Have to go the Aussies. Have to go the Aussies. We can never tip England. The big Aussies. Yeah. I think this will be really close because England will be fired up after a washout. But yeah, Aussies got to get the job done. Mm. All right. Awesome. Uh, next one, we're going to go to India, Pakistan. Probably the biggest rival, almost the biggest rivalry in sport. Up until the, the final. Really. Game of the tournament. It's pretty much a final for these two teams. They hate each other. The fans hate each other. We absolutely love watching it. Uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube uh, and Insta and TikTok and things like that. We're going to go live and do something for that. Yep. We're going to try and find a watch party in Melbourne. If you're a India or a Pakistan fan, yeah, yeah let check, us out, know. check out for us uh, in, your, in your local pub or something. We might do an interview or something like that. So <laughs> that'd be pretty fun. Uh, India, Pakistan, who's going to be the standout player? I know you love um, King Bobby. Well, I, I love King Bobby. <laughs> and why not? I'll lean towards King oh, Bobby because he will have to play well mm -hmm. if Pakistan are to win. Yep. I think. But um, look, it's, it's really just the bowling stocks when they face off against each other because mm. they're both some of the best in the tournament. So this is going to be some A grade viewing. And mm -hmm. what do you reckon? We're going to hit a billion plus people in the world watch this game. Oh, probably. Yeah. Just yeah, a billion in, in each country. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be maybe two billion. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, who's your standout player, Tom? I think Virat is gonna yeah. is gonna um, take off. He the missed King, out in the King first Holly. dig. Yep. If Rohit Sharma's a bit sore, um, we we know that he's got a bit of a sore shoulder or elbow, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. I think Virat's just gonna put the rest of India on his back and just Ooh. carry them. Even um, still, Shuman Gill can yeah. come straight in. Yeah, if, yeah, if, if Rohit doesn't play, but I think Virat he he takes a bit personally these India Pakistan. He games. does. Yeah. He always fires up, for and him, he always he? fires up, and yep. he's obviously got a great record. He doesn't miss out too often. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm I'm gonna back. Only made the Virat only made the one. Against mm. Ireland, so yep. yeah, we'll be looking to bounce back, as you said. Yeah, yep. uh, my standout player. I always talk him up, and every time I've ever talked him up, he, <coughs> he crumbles. But I'm going Harris Ralph. He is so <laughs> fast. He bowls 150 clicks. I just love yeah. watching him bowl. He's so <laughs> right. He'll give a few of these. Let's come on, <laughs> bit of Harris Ralph. He got three far in the one of the warm up games against England. I think he's going to have a very similar game, and he either gets hit or he gets wickets. If he mm -hmm. takes wickets, Pakistan win this one. So I'm leaning towards Pakistan as well. Getting into my prediction for this game. Yep. I know most people would be tipping India, but I think Pakistan just match up really well against Pak uh, yeah, sorry, Pakistan really match up well against India. So I'm going 100%. them to win. And they they want to start off with a win. Mm. Uh Pakistan. So, so who are you going? <sighs> <laughs> who are you gonna put as, as your tip? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll go India. India, fair enough. Just. Just. Yeah. Tom? Super over. Super over. Oh, Why not? I'm right. gonna go India. I reckon um Virat's gonna go bananas. Ooh. And uh yeah, I, I think they're just gonna be too good. Yeah. Jasper Brummer is gonna be a big difference for me as well. Yep. Awesome. Uh, all right. I think that stumps for the Cricket Today Show, lads. We've covered some uh, big games. India, Pakistan, Australia versus England are going to be all over our socials as well. So we're going to do a little short for that, uh, talking about some of the other players involved and uh, all the quicks that are going to be very exciting for 100%. those games, which is going to be really good. So that stumps for the Cricket Today Show. We'll be back with this uh, next week, covering a huge weekend of T20 World Cup. Get right around the show. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Get around this on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X on Cricket Today AU. Send in any questions, send in the comments, anything you want to chat to us about. We've had some weird comments on TikTok, but hopefully that uh, changes to some normal ones, uh, normal <laughs> yeah. ones soon. I'll say uh, thank you very much, Olivia and Joe behind the camera. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you, Sasko. Go Pakistan and Baba Razam. Uh, thanks, Tom. Again, thank second you. episode. Be sure really to check well. out the live. Check out the Sunday. live on Sunday. We'll be doing something at 12.30 a.m. Melbourne time. That's <laughs> just, we're guaranteed doing something. So just be, be sure. It might be interesting. Maybe a few drinks deep. But we'll see. Yeah, see how not we go the bed sheets either. No, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Anyway, that's it. Thanks to me. That's another episode of Cricket Data. We're out. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.